So the last video, we stood the wall up, got it braced off, and then got to looking at it. The, the way it was gonna work, the, the way these rafters are built, they overlap each other. Let's see if I can, I'll zoom that in a little bit. They overlap each other, which throws, if I was to build this wall to where it came out perfectly, even with this, it would be four inches off on the other side, which is fine, but it's gonna make running trim and putting the tongue and groove on here a pain in the butt. So what we decided to do was we tore the wall back down, laid it down, and we moved over and it shifted where our doorway was a little bit, but no big deal. But what it did was it moved us over to where now we're centered up on this other tongue and groove on both sides. Now running trim is not gonna be that big of a deal. Um, we're not gonna have to work around in this other stuff. We did lose about eight inches. Uh, in the bedroom they're still 15 15 and a half feet long which is a decent size upstairs bedroom you know for kids or whatever so it's not the end of the world but it's just that's part of it when you're kind of winging it changing stuff and you're not building inside of a square building and these are round logs that are crooked and you know shaped like carrots big on one end small on the other so it's just part of the challenge is a building you know with this kind of stuff so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stand up get this bathroom wall one side of the wall put together we're gonna stand it up get it nailed off here um, we've got some outside stuff we need to get knocked out uh, the cooler temperatures are here it's definitely fall so I want to get this done go get some more stuff outside taken care of that we have to do and then we're gonna I think we're gonna call it early
Well, we got uh, most of one bedroom, bathroom, and started on the outside wall for the other bedroom, framed up. Tomorrow, I'm gonna get in there, in here, and knock this other wall out, probably start working on closets. Uh, that's what I'm concentrating on right now, get the closets, all this stuff framed out, and then we have to start going up. Um, it's another, oh, I don't know, another 10 feet or so to the top. Um, you'll be able to see the ridge pole from inside the bathroom, but the rest of these beams, we've decided that we're going to, um, we're gonna run tongue and groove on the outside of these beams. That way we can go ahead and put in uh, can lighting. It's, it just make things simpler. Um, be easier to run, you know, electrical through the ceiling and all that if we cover the bottom. It's not that much more money. We're buying a bunch of it, you know, to cover the outside with anyway. So light may be screwing things up. But that's where I'm at. Um, you can see it's, it's really not that hard to throw up some walls, especially these two by four walls. And these things are light. Um, I couldn't do that downstairs because it's, that's what's holding us up right now. Yes, these headers are unnecessary. Uh, we could have used two by sixes, but I don't have any two by sixes. And I had a bunch of leftover pieces of two by 12s. So I just threw that together. I know people are gonna be asking me why I put these great big heavy duty headers over doors that's not holding up anything, but um, you know, whatever we're putting on the outside of the walls. Well, that's why it was leftover material. So that's it. Uh, gonna wrap this one up. You can see what we've gotten done. Hopefully here in a couple of days, we'll have all of this bottom part taken care of.